Hang out with us today as we talk about the new trikes that Harley Davidson just released. We've got the freewheeler with some upgrades, but the Road Glide 3, this is a game changer for those looking at trikes. So hang out and I'll give you my honest opinion of these new trikes. Hello and welcome to Road Rush Nation. I'm Terry, your host here, and really appreciate you stopping by and checking out the channel. If you like it, give us a thumbs up, and if you'd like to be a member of the nation, it's free. Just hit that subscribe button. So today we're going to talk about the new trikes that Harley just released. I have to say they were pretty freaking cool. Trikes get a bad rap in my opinion. People say, oh, you're not really riding a bike. I say bull pucky. They fill a void for a lot of folks that can't get on two wheels or for other reasons. But I'm going to give you my honest opinion of these bikes. So let's first see what Harley had to say. Davidson has actually been in the trike game for a long time. They're well ingrained in motorcycle culture today. I remember as a kid, I watched my grandfather and my uncle Al put a trike together. And I believe it was from like the 40s or the 50s, but it was like a postman trike that they used to deliver mail on. And they customized it and it had white paint job with a black pinstripe, 21 inch spoke wheel on the front, Dayton's on the back. Looking at trikes today, man, they came a long way. What do you think? Ready to roll. <laughs> we've been making the freewheeler for a few years, but this is the first time we've applied the dark custom trim treatment. Let's take a look at the Road Glide 3. Road Glide is a legendary part of the motorcycle history here at Harley Davidson, but uh, we've never seen it before on three wheels. Some were looking for the music, the fairing, the historical look of the Road Glide, and bringing that to trike was the goal of this bike. So you got a chance to ride this the other day. It felt amazing just to feel the power that it has. I even think I popped a little willy. <laughs> I can't wait to see how people customize them. I'm gonna just use this as my canvas. The new trikes that they came out with, I was really actually pleasantly impressed with. The freewheeler giving it the black accents, I think brought it right up. And then you've got the Road Glide 3, which I think is a game changer. And you still have the ultra limited trike, which fills all these voids. So what's really great is all three of these different models fill three different areas. Let me show you. I'm gonna scroll down here because we're on the website. You've got your freewheeler. It doesn't have a fairing. So for those that like the Road Kings, one ride without a fairing, boom, you've got this. Plus you don't have the big seat in the back that you would have with the Ultra. It's also got a little bit cheaper price point, but warning, warning, they always show you the cheapest color but when you try to go into something with a little bit more color to it, you usually are going to get charged more. But then you look at the Road Glide 3. This is great for people that want a fairing. You want the accessories that you get in a fairing. The GPS, the stereo, the, the breaking of the wind at you is great. But maybe you don't want that seat in the back. That's why a lot of us ride um, a Road Glide or a Street Glide is because we don't, okay, I'm gonna call it this, maybe this will offend some people, but I call it the high chair in the back. This whole thing reminds me of a high chair. Don't ask me why. But then when you have a passenger that you're going to be taking, oh, let me go back to, to that road glide, you'll see that it starts out at 32. So you got 30,000 and basically 33,000. So you're paying the difference for that fairing because if you notice, everything pretty much 
is the same as far as motor size and so on with both. But then when you've got a passenger, they've still got the Ultra um, for you to, to pack up and take on those long trips when you've got somebody else on. Those start out at basically 36.5. So let's take a quick look at both the freewheeler and the Road Glide 3. So here's our freewheeler that they've got going on. And the basically, let's scroll down and see what's going on. With I like the look of it. I like that they've blacked out everything. It gives it an upgraded kind of edgy look to it, which I really do like. Spin this bad boy around. I do like the way the trunk works on these. Um, the flip out trunk that you have on the Ultras where it comes out flat. Um, if you forget to shut that, you're going down the road and stuff is falling out. We have Aaron's cousin has one and they were taken off from a dealership one time with us up in Indiana. And it was like, whoa, whoa, your, your trunk's open. All your stuff's going to be falling out. So I do like how this opens up here where it flips up. It's got the 114, so it's got a good size motor on it. I will tell you, you wouldn't want anything smaller on these. These are heavy bikes. Again, they start out at $30,000. You'll see that this sand pearl that's I'm showing here, it adds another $750. Let's see what the two-tone does. The blue with the gray, that adds $1,500 to it. Of course, there's always the vivid black, which gives you the starting price. And you'll see that that's the color that Harley traditionally puts on their... I don't want to say low end, but they're entry level on that price. That's going to be your minimum price. Usually always going to be the black. So let's get down into the details of this beautiful trike. So you, like I said, you've got the 114 on, which is good size motor. This you wouldn't want anything smaller. We always want bigger, but you've got all those safety features. I will tell you, if you are somebody that's going from two wheels to three wheels, it's different than riding on two. I would suggest you take a class or get with somebody who's an expert on how to ride a trike because cornering and how you make turns is a little different. I've seen some people do some really bad things on trikes and usually it's because they don't understand. It's not the same as having two wheels. That's just a piece of advice. Once you figure it out, you will have miles and miles of fun. This is that trunk that I was telling you about and you'll see that they you can put a luggage rack on the top here so that you can put extras that you need. The only bad thing, which is the same thing you have on Ultras, is when you lift open that lid, that if you've got anything on top of there, make sure it's strapped down or it'll fall. So let's get down to the dimension. So you'll see, you know, how big this is. They take up space. Um, so if you are looking at space within your garage to keep this, you want to make sure you've got wide enough space. It's, you, you will see that it's got, its weight is 1,100 pounds, okay? Luckily, you're not having to pick that bad boy up. But that's just something to be aware of, is that this thing is heavy. So if you're going to trailer it and you're putting it on um, a lightweight trailer, you want to realize how heavy this get into the engine. Again, it's got the 114 on, which is, is great. Um, you can do so much upgrading just like you do on the two wheels. You can do it on the three. -wheel. And let's get down to the pricing. I always like to get into the pricing on these things. See, here's that $29,999. And you'll see it's with the vivid black. You get the color with a black finish. Then it's up to 30. The two-tone with the black finish, which is that two-tone color that they had. Now you're up to 31.5. So it, it goes up. The paint is what you're paying for. I get it. Um, you've got your California Mission. You've got freight, you've got surcharges, those all get added on. So just think about it when you pick out what you want. So if you wanted to go with that two-tone black finish that they've got with the blue, billiard blue and the gray, that's basically 31.5 and then add on everything else. And you haven't even added on your accessories, your tax, and so on. So just something to be thinking about. Okay. Let's pop up and let's check out that new Road Glide 3. This new Road Glide 3 in my book really changes the whole attitude towards the trike. A lot of people like the shark nose. Maybe they don't want the bat wing, but they want that shark. Now you've got it in a trike. Why should you give up your Road Glide just because you have maybe you have the decision to go to three wheels? A lot of times people are making that decision not because they want to, but physically they need to. Uh, I get it. Totally get it. I will tell you, it's got the reverse on there, so you don't have to back up. So if you've got physical limitations, it sure in the heck help. If you're in a city where you are doing stop and go and trying to keep a bike balanced, this is a way to go. It also... If there are folks out there that are just not, don't feel confident on two wheels and they just feel more comfortable on three, this is a freaking awesome bike in my book. I think the look on it is really good and I'm glad they didn't kind of overdo it. So let's take a gander at all the um, accessories and the upgrades on take her for a spin, so to speak. Now the billiard blue that's in here, and that's what you see on all the commercials um, or all the ads, 
that's going to add another $900 to the price on this, which is starting out at the $32,990. Okay, $33,000. Like a buck is going to make a big difference, but it's a mental thing. That's why. Anyway, sorry. Rant. Um, it comes in black on black finish, which that adds another $1,100. Okay. Uh, there is other colors here. Let's just keep with the billiard blue with the black finish. This is the most expensive. And of course, it adds another 2000 So that gives you an idea. Let's take a look at it. I think it's a pretty sweet looking bike. Let's, you know, that's a good look in my opinion. And they also put the split windshield on here. It's not the same as Clockworks, but it's better than just having the stock smooth one. So it helps with the buffeting on your head, which if you see the video I did on wind deflection, you'll see how important that is. And there's some things you'll probably want to add just to keep the wind deflection um, away from you. Let's take a gander down a little farther and see the other options in the wheels. I like the wheels. I think it's it looks good. I don't know if I like just all the chrome, um, maybe do some black on it or had that option would have been nice. But they're limiting options. A lot of manufacturers are doing it. I totally get it. You've got your uh, shark nose fairing in so which gives you all those features that you really want when you're taking long trips. It's got that 114 in there, which is a great motor. Personally, I think it's great. Um, you've got, you know, the dual Daymaker LED headlamp, which are great for keeping it, for giving you visibility so other people can see you. Personally, I think it's it looks good. I like it. So like I said, you've got that shark nose fairing, keeping the cost down so you don't have to buy the ultra limited trike and have that seat in the back if you don't want it. So if you're not riding with a passenger all the time, I think this would be great. The only thing I would do, if you're going to take this on long distance trips, I would have a backrest put in. I would make sure I had that because it makes a huge difference. Again, I think it's fantastic. I think it's gonna be a game changer in the trike arena. And I'm really glad they brought it out. Let's take a look at the dimension. Oh, we always do that. Again, it's got the same motor as the freewheeler with the 114. This one is going to weigh a little bit more because you've got the fairing. Not, not too much, but a little bit more. Again, here's that 114. So we know it's the same motor personally. Oh, and you've got your infotainment, which you don't on the freewheeler. So here's our pricing on our Rogue Glide 3. Again, the vivid black is the entry level. Uh, entry level is probably a bad way to put it, but that's your baseline. There you go. There we go. It's your baseline to get you started. That's going to be $33,000. That's just that piece. That's not your shipping. That's not your other surcharges and things that you are required to pay. If you go to the next color, it's 30. And then we get into, you know, here's a little more for 34, it's 35. Well, I don't know why we play, but it's 35,000. When you, the color with the black tones. And so here's your California missions, your freight charges and your surcharge. So, you know, you've got another 25, $2,600 just there. If you're not in California, you're going to rack up to $40,000 on comparing prices. Like I said, these are your baseline prices. It's 30. 33, 36, 5. Well, that's going to be 37. You're, you're, you're going to be starting at 40 here and going up. This one is going to end up around 40. And this one will end up about 36 once you do your things. Now, you can put accessories on there and then that just blows your whole bank. I, I get it. I did it. I do it every time. When I get a new bike, I have a list of things. I hope you found this interesting. And when if you're looking at getting a trike, check out which one would fit you best. That kind of fits your style. They've got them all. You've got your bat wing, you've got your shark nose, and you've got no uh, fairing at all. So enjoy the ride. I appreciate you stopping by the channel. I appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to join the nation, remember, it's free. Just hit that subscribe button. And hopefully we will see you next week.